In the world of financial operations, one size does not fit all. We understand that each business has unique needs. That's why we've developed a dynamic tool that adapts to you. Today, I'm excited to introduce to you our new drag and drop workflow builder designed to revolutionize your financial operations. Why is our drag and drop builder a game changer? It allows you to create custom workflows with ease. Through the ability to filter and refine processes to the most granular level, it ensures precision and efficiency. With improved functionality for triggers such as payment failures, chargeback events, to new actions such as tasks, teams alerts, and increased flexibility such as statements for decision tree logic, all wrapped up in a user-friendly design, it's built to meet the evolving demands of financial operations. So that's enough of me uh, talking. Now let's uh, jump in and show you how it all works. So what you want to do is you want to head over to automation. You'll see a new tab called workflows that appears with a list of you know, a whole lot of pre-built templates for you to use. For today, we're going to use the example of an overdue workflow. So this is for somebody that owes you money and you now want to automate that follow up or chasing sequence to them. So if we hop into the overdue one over here, and you'll see on the left hand side and center of page, we've got the full workflow to follow a sequence of events. And on the right are all the different actions that you can uh, perform within this workflow. So there's everything from if else decision branching, time delays, sending out an email, or SMS, as well as assigning to portfolios, creating tasks, uh, and there's many more to come as well. So if we start off over here, every workflow will start off with a trigger. So what is a trigger? A trigger is that defining point or an event that starts off the workflow of events. So in my case over here, I'm using a customer follow-up workflow. So what that's gonna do is if the customer falls into the uh, trigger criteria over here, then they're gonna fall into this bucket. I've started off with the trigger on a customer level, so you can go either customer or invoice. Invoice level means you'll send out specific communication on each invoice, where a customer level is gonna group that all together. Now, for this customer workflow over here, we've defined this by being any customer with a balance of less than 5,000 and the customer is say situation in Canada, it would fall into this bucket of events. First step is we're gonna wait for a time delay. Now a time delay has two different choices, either a last action or the invoice date due. If the customer meets this criteria, wait five days and then we're gonna send an email. Now within the email, you can do different templates depending on if it's a single invoice or multiple invoices because that you wanna get that right tone of voice. You can also define which time and who you want to see C and BCC in that email. So from here, we're going to select a template. And as you can see, you've got a full list of templates available with all the dynamic tags available at your disposal. You're going to head off over to an if else branch. Now, in this case, a branch is a decision tree. So it lets you define how you want to structure your workflow. Now, as you can see in this workflow over here, the options are really uh, endless in terms of you can have as many branches as you want. Starting off over here is we're going to look at a branch if the payment status is dispute. Why is this important, you may ask? Well, if it's a dispute, you're going to want to have a different response to if it's just a general collections email. So clearly you want to be more on top of things. So we're going to call this customer. So we've said if it's a dispute, call the customer. I've assigned it to myself as this task. And I also want to make sure that we communicate with that customer before nine o'clock that day. So it lands up in your task list. No need for you to you know, think and remember in that little black book of uh, which task is next. Now, if it wasn't in dispute, we would send out a different email and then you could perhaps wait a few more days before you send out the follow-up emails. And as you can see, you can keep going on and on and on as much as you need and defining your own flow. Not only do we cater for, you know, events over here, such as a follow-up for uh, when someone owes you money, but we can also cater for things like payment triggers or chargebacks and disputes. There's also things where a new customer gets created and you want to send out an automatic email asking them to set up the direct debits and you can handle that all through Kaleno over here. It's your one-stop shop for financial operations and really the options are limitless. Join us in embracing the future of financial operations. Our drag and drop workflow builder is more than a tool. It's your partner in efficiency and growth.